Hello everyone. Um, so I wanted to do a short video of um, uh, the 8 Do Zero controller. Uh, I know a lot of people have problems with these things pairing with the RetroPie. Uh, I will say that uh, I just paired this one and it took me maybe maybe three seconds to to pair it. Um, so the, the easiest way to pair these is you have to hold the start and the R trigger. That's that's the easiest way I found it. So let's see if we can hook up this one really quick and see if it's just as fast as the other one. Um, also, um, if you guys are looking for these controllers, they are they are very small. I mean, here's what I normally use the 8BitDo NES 30 Pro. So I mean, <laughs> it's very very small compared to their normal controllers. So, all right, these are very cool. Um, I have a a six and a half year old who is probably going to love these things when he he uses them so we're going to use this controller that's hooked up go into our retro pie menu here and go into bluetooth all right so now we're set up at register and connect to bluetooth device so we're going to hold start and r at the same time blue light comes on and it blinks slow let's go ahead and hit a And let's see if this pops up right away. Okay, so that didn't pop up, so let's go back in one more time. Let's see if maybe it's a little delay here. And it could also be set up because there is a zero gamepad on there, so they might... Uh, they might use the same frequency on these, I'm not sure. Or this might be different to set up. Oh, there we go. So third time's the charm. We're gonna go ahead and hit okay. It's registered and we're gonna see that go solid blue once it's registered. Okay, successfully paired. All right, so we're good to go. Now, as you can see, it's not set up, so we're gonna have to do an input configuration for it. So let's go ahead and do that really quick. Yes, I do. Do game pads, so up, down, left, right. Uh, I think start and select. A, B, X, Y, left, right, and uh, the shoulder triggers on these are pretty awesome. They're they're quite clicky and so we're just going to uh, set this up because I don't have any analogs on this controller, and I usually enable my hotkey as select. Now I will say one thing that's uh, different between this controller and their normal controllers. So on here it's X, Y, A, I'm sorry, it's X, Y, A, and B. And that's pretty much how most of their controllers are. This one's opposite. So it's Y, X, B, A. So that might be a little confusing. I guess you could set it up the same way as this one if you really wanted to. So it's not the end of the world, but uh, yeah, this is this is a little tricky because uh, the buttons are just a tad bit different. That works. That works. Let's go to my favorite game, Super Punch Out. I should have went to T. Oh well. Really cool little controller. Um, I got these two off of Wish. I think I think I paid about sixteen dollars total, 
which I was at Fry's and they have these and they're $16 just for the one. So I figured, hey, that's a pretty good deal. Buy two for the price of one, might as well. The only difference is wish.com, it takes forever to, uh, to set the, uh, I'm sorry, to, to get the information here. So it looks like we have an issue with it. Oh, <laughs> that explains a lot. I forgot I'm connected on this controller. So it won't recognize this controller. So that was kind of stupid, but whatever. It works. It works in the RetroPie menu. Let's get out of here. So I just have to get used to the mixed up buttons. Or like I said, you can map them the same way you have your other controllers. Um, and you should be okay. So, but that's... That's as simple as I can get. I mean, um, I know a lot of people have trouble connecting these with RetroPie, but it took me, what, three tries to get this thing connected? So you just keep on trying to register it, and it'll, it'll be all right. But uh, once again, to, to do it, you hold down the start and the R trigger in order to do it the fastest. I've tried the other ways, just turning it on, turning it on, uh, pressing the start and the A, pressing the start and the B, uh, all the other ones, I, I, I've tried every single one and it didn't register. Um, but I know for sure that when I registered this one, the first time I did start an R and I went in to register it, it did it the first time. So you might have that luck, you might not. But uh, it seems like this is paired and we're good to go. Let's, uh, let's turn this one on. Oh, see, and we've got the typical problem that's with the SNES style controllers. It goes crazy, but well, all you have to do is just press one and or press to the left or right or up or down or whatever, and it'll automatically um, get you there. So, and that's pretty much it, guys. So, if you got any questions, just uh, let me know.